So when a loved one passes away due to someone else's negligence, a wrongful death settlement might be awarded. But how is that settlement divided among family members? Hi, I'm attorney Anthony Spratley. I'm the owner of Gina Law Group in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm also a fighter and ex-military veteran and prosecutor helping fight for families just like yours. But first, if you find this information helpful, make sure you like, share, follow, and comment. So when a wrongful death case is settled, the money typically goes to the immediate family members of the deceased. So in New Mexico, that usually includes the spouse, children, or in some cases, parents of the deceased. How the settlement is divided depends on a few key factors, like the family's relationship to the deceased and the financial or emotional loss suffered. For example, a uh, surviving spouse may receive a larger share to cover the cost of income and companionship. Meanwhile, minor children might receive funds for future expenses like education. In some cases, the court decides how to divide the settlement fairly, especially when there's disagreement, uh, disagreement amongst family members. Keep in mind, the settlement is meant to cover not uh, funeral expenses um, and lost income, but also the emotional and psychological loss the family may have suffered. If you're navigating a wrongful death settlement, it's uh, critical to have experienced legal help to make sure your family's best interests are protected. So you need assistance with the wrongful death claim. Uh, call us here at Genus Law Group. Make sure someone's fighting for your best interests. All right, thank you for watching. Um, make sure you share this video with someone who may benefit from it. Also, um, remember to like, uh, follow, and um, hit that bell, right? And subscribe. Thank you. Until next time, stay safe in New Mexico.